Anybody who's ever metal detecting has always been asked, what the heck you find? What do you do that for? Okay, today I'm gonna let you in and see some of the stuff I find. But just keep that between you and me, okay? I don't want anybody to hear about it. we have oh, of course you got your uh, your load of foreign kinds or tokens uh, for some reason the casino tokens I got one or two there well this in is obviously with metal in the center but this one has probably metal inside because uh, I found it with the metal detector and you got you know the whole English pennies and stuff pennies we found in Quebec and from, from time to time uh, crappy stuff that you didn't have time to sort. Like I say, you always have a bunch of start and you don't know what to do. Those are clean with a um, tumbler on the last video. <coughs> I'm losing my voice. And those, hey Denis from Quebec City is a uh, buddy detecting. They're still waiting for you guy. These are, I won't get them out of the, these are all old uh, yeah, what's the name of that? Rouge Elev. You know, lip balm. Uh, yeah, no, we found a lot of those. So, the Denis, they're still waiting for you guys. I know you collect them, uh, just have fun for those. Uh, well, I got I won't spend a lot of time here, except for this thing. Hey, a quiz. Anybody know what the heck is that? What is it? You got the number. 49 on the back here. I never knew what it's made of solid brass or bronze. So, anybody has a clue? I would of course, appreciate. when you talk about metal detecting, you talk about coins, okay? Coins and tokens and stuff like that. Uh, that's what got me into a metal detecting. I was a coin collector for a long time and, you know, I was limited on, uh, oh, I didn't want to buy everything, so one guy suggests hey, why don't you try metal detecting and I did and I found a lot of coin old tokens and silver and stuff uh, unfortunately four or five years ago I, I kind of sold everything because I needed money so what I'm gonna about to show you is what I have left and uh, some are misplaced I, I, there was no one looking I'm looking for one I didn't find so those are the colonial tokens okay you got those uh, predating one Su token Bukesu. Oh, I got a bunch of those, but not as much because I like those. You know, it's it's a small piece of history you get in your hands, and uh, I like those. One, there's one I'm not finding. It's my uh, Octary Connect from United States. Okay, okay. So tokens, colonial tokens predating 1837. Uh, that was the money in Canada at the time. Mm, they're much, uh, you know, it's always fun to find. And after that, we move to, no, now I have a bunch of those to be classified. Then we have the large cents. Canadian cents were twice the size they are, well, they used to because Canadian cents doesn't exist anymore. They're still worth a penny. You can change them, you can buy with stuff with them in Canada, but they're no longer made so they're pretty much out of the circulation and thank god because they were starting to be a pain so yeah uh, large cents started in 1859 I guess and went up to 1920 uh, I got some I think I got a bunch there not classified yet so I didn't have time uh, of course when you find coins in the ground don't expect museum piece uh, museum quality and stuff like that so yeah I just started them. It's fun, nice, large scent. It's always fun to find a large scent, much better than a, a small one. And yeah, yeah, the young kids might not know those, but uh, these are Canadian scents from 1920 to 1938, uh, 37. Uh, yes, yeah. Uh, at the time, French <laughs> they didn't care much. So everything is English, only one cent. Yeah, and uh, 
So these are, like I said, a bunch of one cent. There's a bunch of um, 1922, 1926. Between those years, there's some that are worth uh, uh, quite a bit more because they're quite rarer. And uh, what we have here is the five cents. Yeah, you wonder why the five cents is bigger than the ten cents? Because at the time it was made of silver, so it was smaller than, than a dime. But uh, people in Canada they call them uh, fish scale because the, they kind of look like a, you know small fish, and people were complaining, "Hey, eh, we lose them all the time because they go through the, the the holes in the pocket." So yeah, they they had to change those. I didn't find a lot. Some people are luckier than me and find a bunch. Uh, this one I thought I had a fish scale, but actually it's uh, I think it's from the it's a 10 cent piece from the Netherlands or something in 1926 But ah, still silver so I just kept it there and this is a misprint or something a penny with no You know no imprint I just kept that And like I say, I won't want to bore you to death. So what I got a bunch now to be classified so that you have the five cents you got the 10 cents. Why I keep those uh, separate? Because every the, I like the design, you know, from the, not everything that's pre-37, okay? We, I just keep separate because they're not necessarily worth much more. You got your Vickies there. Uh, yeah. And then you got the Georgie Edwards and stuff like that. So I keep the pre-37 dimes around here. Why there's the 57 there? I don't know. So yeah, you got a bunch of uh, silver dime dating pre 1937 there, except for I don't know why there. <coughs> Moving on, 25 cents. Yeah, uh, this one I just remember. I was so proud. 1899. That was the first time I broke. The 1800 barrier frontier, a 1900 barrier with a silver. So, yeah, I, I kind of went gentle on the cleaning. Uh, yeah, a lot of toning there were. Hey, this one, uh, okay, not necessary. And I like, I really liked the 1967 design with the cougar or something like that. So, as for the dimes, these are. That are readable because we find a lot of uh, you know those, but uh, they went on circulation up to the 60s and they still rub down. You, you and the date is raised, so yeah. One day I cannot read them, I just toss them in the other pile. So it's not a collection, it's just I keep them separately for the last few years, five years. And the 50 cent piece. Yeah, I was uh, kind of uh, lucky uh, a couple summers ago, last year and the year before. And I found a bunch of uh, at least 10 on the same summer. So everything you see there is always uh, almost coming from one season or two. Uh, like those two. I found those in Montreal, Newfoundland. They're from Newfoundland because Newfoundland was not part of Canada until 1949. So they have their own separate coinage, sometimes made in the US, uh, in Canada, sometimes made in uh, England. But uh, yeah, 1909, 1899, 50 cents from Newfoundland, found about, I'd say, four or five feet apart. And the rest of them, that's in the woods in Montreal, but the rest are pretty much coming from the water. Yeah. It's always a nice big chunk of silver. It's always fun to find. Like I said, this is the last five years or something. And what about those that are not uh, pre pre thirty seven? Well, I just you know I just keep them <laughs> in a box. And like I said, uh, that's what I found the last. Um, Five years, four or five years of uh, silver. My luckiest day, guess, I think it was 23 silver and six gold or something. That was my best day uh, ever. I don't think I'll ever beat that again because I, I don't think we're gonna find a virgin place like, like we did. But yeah, silver I just keep. Uh, sometimes I take, you know, my. One second. So I keep those. It's Canadian silver is made of uh, 
uh, 80% silver. It's not like US silver coins. It's yeah, in the pre-19, I don't know, 17, 1920, there were uh, sterling coins, but after that, they dropped to 80%, and it stays there up to 1967. When it dropped to half, and 1968, it kind of disappeared. So, like I say, this. Uh, when it's not readable, I just you know keep it as a blank. Uh, sometimes you get some U.S. coins there. I don't know what's there. Anyway, so yeah, and uh, sometimes I use them. I just go to my uh, gem club and I roll them flat and oval and use them to make jewelry. You probably saw that on my other videos. I hope. Uh, hey, hey, go and watch my other videos. See what I do with the with those things. Anyway, so yeah. How much I have there? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. At least one roll of each, and you know, two rolls, I guess. Anyway, I like it, and uh, I know some people are very fond of silver. I have silver stash. Well, that's mine for the silver coins, and that pretty much covers the silver, the coins. Well, I got a few more. I'll show you in another box. Keep it. Keep. Okay, stay tuned. We have here. Uh, we got two more boxes to show. Okay, let's see what this one is about. Uh, kind of a mixed match here. Uh, you know, you got kind of uh, tokens clad. This, like this thing. I, I talked about it in the last video about coin cleaning, but uh, Lauren and Lich. It's a. Uh, I think it's ID tag with a badge number. Uh, I don't know if either the company, you know, it, it was an operation up to 1917, 1917 I think, in the teens, okay? And uh, maybe the company sold the tokens and they were used as, a, you know, I don't know. But, or they had a big company uh, picnic or something because at one site I found uh, you know a bunch and bunch of those I researched the company it was an excavation big excavation company in Montreal like I said between 1914 and 17 uh, even emailed the granddaughter of the owner and uh, told her ask her if she was interested yeah of course so I sent uh, a couple of those to uh, her granddaughter she was really happy to receive some kind of a history from uh, you know, grandfather. Uh, what I have here, Paramount Ballroom. I got more of those. Those come from the um, big ballroom. There was a big beach here, owned by a guy that was, uh, you know, <laughs> kind of a uh, adventurer. Okay, he was uh, mingling with the mafia and uh, even holding. Uh, anyway, long story short. This is a. This used to be a big, big uh, ballroom. Even Duke Ellington and stuff went there, and that's probably anything uh, that is left. No, that's probably the last thing that is left from this area. I even saw, gave them some at the Laval's Historic Society. But uh, yeah, hey, hey, wait, wake up, keep, keep with me, okay? Uh, what else we have? Oh, just, it's not less. I don't know why I keep it there, but it's too big to go anywhere. Nice silver pendant there, Mexican, I guess. We got a few, few U.S. silver there. Couple of buffaloes, buffaloes from the war, made of a uh, silver. But okay, I'm pointing stuff you don't see. Okay, great. A few transit tokens and uh, bus tokens. I keep those because there might be some, you know, rarest in there. Uh, fancy goods. Uh, department ITC anybody has a clue that fancy good department ITC in Montreal or something I, I would appreciate to know history about that uh, a few tombacks we found them quite 1943 uh, you know US have their steel sand from 1943 we have the tombac made of uh, uh, kind of a mix uh, because they used to be nickel they replaced that with some kind of well, it's almost bronze, okay. Okay, a few more, like Victorian metal we got there. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, you want a good condition coin there? 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's in good shape. I just don't want to get out of there. This is a sniffing box. Okay, I hope it. I'm not gonna sniffing box. Yeah, you sniff there, and it was a pendant. Yeah, fun. Oh, nice find from this summer. Uh, more military stuff. More religious medals. Okay, they're not classified correctly. There's so many stuff. You lose track of time. But look at that. This is one of my pride of joy. First World War, 1914-1918. Medal for uh, you know enlisted people, I guess. Yeah, 1927 Private Brady. C A S C. Yeah. Nice souvenir there. Got a few badges, military badges. I don't need no stinking badges. Okay, okay, okay. I digress, digress. Some military rings there, a couple, you know. Always interesting. Canadian Royal Canadian credits. I always, you know, it's very. I just kept them separate. And a bunch of silver rings. I don't know why they're separate there. And still some metal, religious metals. Made of sterling, probably. Why they're there? I don't know. There's so many stuff, you know. You can spend days and days just trying to sort them out. Some bracelet. Yeah, army bracelet. I should have presented those in the uh, army section or military section, but uh, Sergeant uh, Darlington. Okay. Wow, oh, no way. I had more. I don't know where they are. So, okay, that were the last two boxes. What uh, do we have left? Oh, yeah. We have silver and we have the, the yellow one. Okay, stay tuned.